You might have built a website before with Dreamweaver, Front Page, or Go Live. These tools typically create what are called static websites. A static website is quite simple. Type in a web address like www.lynda.com into your computer's web browser. A web browser is a piece of software that displays web pages from the internet, like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, Chrome, or Opera. The request for the web page goes from your computer, also called the client, to the web server. Server is a tricky word that means two different things. One is a hardware sense of the word. A server is a very powerful computer that is shared in some way. Server can also be used in the software sense. This is software designed to serve up web pages. Apache and Internet Information Server are examples of server software that's compatible with Joomla. The web server is frequently used interchangeably with the web host. A web host is a service that offers web servers for your use. The server locates the page called index.html in its files for lynda.com, and it sends a copy of this page back to the client. It also finds any associated images, CSS, flash files, and JavaScript, and it sends those along as well. The client displays the page plus the images and other associated files. The system is static in that the pages contain fixed content. The server simply picks the right page from the right location and sends it. No processing of that page is required. You create the web pages on your computer, the client, and you send a copy of those pages to the web server via FTP. All the web server does is store those pages and send out copies as requested. A content management system, or CMS, is very different than a static site. A CMS is a web application, software that runs on the server instead of on the client. For example, Microsoft Word runs on your computer, the client. Google Docs, however, runs on the server. Both applications are designed to create and edit word processing documents, but the way they get that job done is very different. CMSs generally function in the same kind of way from a bird's eye perspective. The server software, middleware software, and database software may vary, but the functionality is pretty much the same. Just like before, type in a web address like www.twotreesoliveoil.com slash index.php into your computer's web browser. Your computer sends the request for this page to the web server. The web server looks at its files, realizes the page you've requested is written in PHP, a programming language. The web server knows it can't send this page as is to the client. Some processing must be done first. So instead, the web server sends this request to PHP. PHP looks at the document and determines that some information needs to be pulled from the database and then processed. PHP is functioning as middleware in this way. This means that PHP mediates the discussion between the web server and the database. The server and the database can't talk to each other directly. They need a translator that can understand server speak and database speak. Other examples of programming languages used in this role include ASP, .NET, ColdFusion, Java, and Perl. A database is a collection of organized information. Our particular database in Joomla is called MySQL, but other types of databases include MSSQL or Oracle. Access is a database that runs on your laptop and is not suitable to use in a website. The database receives a request for information from PHP via a database query. The requested information is copied from the database and sent back to PHP. PHP arranges the database information into the way specified in the PHP code. The actual PHP code is stripped out from the page and replaced with HTML, according to the instructions on the page. Now that the page is created and it consists of HTML and associated files, that is sent to the client to view. All of this happens in the blink of an eye. In order to run Joomla, therefore, you must have a web server configured with Apache or IIS, PHP, and MySQL. 
including the right versions of those pieces of software. You can check Joomla.org for the latest requirements and recommended web hosts. So obviously a CMS is way more complicated than a static website. In fact, you may be a bit intimidated by all of that technology running your site. Why are CMSs preferred over static websites? Because of the power of the database, websites are much easier to maintain with a CMS than they are with a static website. If you wish to make changes to a CMS website, you can change it without knowing HTML, PHP, MySQL, or anything else, which means your average client can easily create new pages, link them to menus, change content, and make other updates without talking to you. In a world where we increasingly integrate photo galleries, calendars, social media, news feeds, blogs, and other dynamic information, a CMS becomes more important due to the ease of integrating these features into the website. If you're still feeling like a CMS is complicated, don't panic. This movie is as geeky as the rest of the title gets. Keep watching and you'll start to feel more comfortable with Joomla very shortly.